Hey friends, how you doing? Jay Todd coming to you from Fremont Street, and here's what's happening this, this week, week in gambling. gambling. Top o' the morning to you, lads and lassies, and thanks so much for joining me for another stroll through the green fields of gambling news. And you'll be happy to know that's the extent of my Irish accent. We have so many things to talk about on this week's program. We have the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament starting up. We have, um, we have St. Patrick's Day to talk about. We have, um, we have, uh, we have two things, two things to talk about. Our big story this week is, of course, the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament, the Sweet 16, Elite Eight, and Final Four, March Magnus, the Big Dance, the Grand Barbecue. Okay, I, I made up the last one, but I was kind of hoping it would catch on, you know? Yeah? Yeah? No. The NCAA tournament is the second largest sports betting event in the country, right behind the Super Bowl and just ahead of the Kentucky Derby. And now, with over half the states in America regulating sports betting, things are set to explode. Remember, there was no tournament last year, thanks to the freaking coronavirus. However, the year before that, in Nevada, there was over $300 million bet legally on the tournament. Now, with expanded sports betting, and if you take into account all those off-the-book bets that people make with family and friends, not to mention office pools, estimates are that upwards of $8.5 billion could be wagered. So where can you bet on the tournament legally? Well, there's always casinos in Nevada and New Jersey, and just this week, both states have announced a loosening of their COVID-19 restrictions to allow up to 50% occupancy in the casinos. That's another step on the road to recovery. But what if you can't get to a casino? Well, there's always Buffalo Wild Wings, Believe it or not, MGM is offering special wagers through their BetMGM app to customers who are physically located inside of a Buffalo Wild Wings restaurant. But don't get too excited. It's only in six states currently. These six. But hey, this sort of expanded branding and marketing could be a sign of things to come. Our partners at Casino City are also covering March Madness, and they have several articles about player specials you could take advantage of if you live in Nevada, New Jersey, or some other legal jurisdiction. It's super easy to find. Just follow the direct links that I've left for you below this video in the descriptive area. This week's special promotion is for the CampoBet Casino. You can find exclusive offers at Casino City for CampoBet and hundreds of other sites. Simply visit online.casinocity.com for details. As I mentioned at the beginning of the show, we're also celebrating St. Patrick's Day this week. Of course, I can't wear green on this program or this happens. Of course, some people feel I look better this way. I also have some lovely Irish themed online slots to tell you about this week, starting with Leprechaun's Loot, a five reel slot with 50 pay lines from Net Gaming, a luscious green and gold themed game with free spins and bonus spins, plus wild and scatter symbols. Also, the Shamrock Holmes Megaway slot from Microgaming, a six reel game with over 117,000 pay lines, plus a max win of up to 28,000 times your bet. Both reviews and hundreds more like them are available right now on our YouTube channel. Finally this week, we discussed MGM in the first part of our show and their partnership with Buffalo Wild Wings. 
But did you know that they also have other partnerships in place with Yahoo and professional sports leagues? And now you can add Clorox bleach to the list. Yes, MGM has named Clorox their official disinfectant. And believe it or not, this move has nothing to do with coronavirus. The deal was actually struck following an extended stay at the MGM Grand by Charlie Sheen. And that's a whole other kind of virus, my friends. You're, you're not going to believe me when I tell you this, but I swear it on a stack of Bibles, I almost wore the same outfit tonight. Really? Pasties and everything. We could have done it who wore it better. That's true. I. I actually am wearing the pasties under this. You just can't see it. I still think I would have won. Yeah, probably. Always after me, Lucky Charms.